Hello my dear students, my name is Hanuman Tladwa, welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve Karnataka State SSLC Exercise 9.3 or CBSC Class 10 Exercise 2.3. Question number 3, obtain all other zeros of 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 if two of its zeros are square root of 5 by 3 and minus square root of 5 by 3. So here, uh, the number of zeros that we can obtain is 4 because the polynomial highest power is 4 we are going to get total uh, number of zeros are 4 only so here we will write uh, x is equal to square root of 5 by 3 and one more x can be written as x is equal to minus square root of 5 by 3. If I transform this square root of 5 by 3 from RHS to LHS, it will become x minus square root of 5 by 3 and x minus if I transform this side, so it will become plus square root of 5 by 3. Now, if I multiply both of these two, so it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b so that is a minus b into a plus b so this identity gives us a square minus b square so here a square is x square minus square root of 5 by 3 square so now here this gives us x square minus this square and square root will get cancelled we remain with 5 by 3 now we need to divide the given polynomial by x square minus 5 by 3 so now let us write x square minus 5 by 3 3 x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5 here what I need to multiply to this x square to get 3x to the power 4. So here 3x square is to be multiplied. So 3x square into x square is 3x to the power 4. Now I am going to multiply this 3x square into minus 5 by 3. So here we need to write this one below this x square. Here we can say if I multiply this one by 5 by 3 that is 5 by 3 into 3 x square so here 3 3 will get cancelled so it will become minus 5 x square so here we can write minus 5 x square so now let us subtract so change the sign so plus will become minus this minus will become plus so here both of these two terms that is minus 3 x to the power 4 and plus 3 x to the power 4 will get cancelled so this 6 x cube as it is plus 5 x square minus 2 x square gives us plus 3 x square and minus 10 x as it is and minus 5 as it is next look at the first term what i need to multiply to this x square to get 6 x cube so here plus 6 x is to be multiplied so 6 x into x square is 6 x cube next multiply 6 x into minus 5 by 3 so minus 5 by 3 into 6x so 3 ones are 3 twos are so 2 fives are 10 so that is minus 10x here we can write minus 10x and this is 0 now let us subtract so plus will become minus this plus will become minus and this minus will become plus so here 6x cube minus 6x cube will get cancelled so this 3x square as it is next plus 10x minus 10x will get cancelled minus 5 as it is next you can see the term 3x square is present what i need to multiply to this x square to get 3x square so here plus 3 is to be multiplied so 3 into x square is 3x square next multiply minus 5 by 3 into 3 so here 3 3 will get cancelled we will get minus 5 so here change the sign minus and this minus will become plus so here plus 3x square minus 3x square will get cancelled plus 5 and minus 5 will get cancelled here remainder will become 0 now we can write the quotient so that is 3x square plus 6x plus 
3. We have to split this middle term in such a way that if I multiply these two numbers, then I must get 9 because 3 from here and this 3 from here, 3, 3 is a 9. And if I add two numbers, I must get 6. So here I'll write 3x square plus 3x plus 3x plus 3. So this middle term is split into 3x plus 3x. So 3, 3 is a 9. 3 plus 3 is 6x. Now let us consider both of these two terms. The common term present in both of these two terms is 3x is present and inside of the bracket we remain with x plus 1. Next here in both of these two terms 3 is common inside of the bracket we remain with x plus 1. Now we will write 3x into x plus 1 is equal to 0. Sorry. So here we can write 3x plus 3 and the common terms are x plus 1. Now we can write 3x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now let us transform this plus 3 and into 3 from LHS to RHS. So x is equal to minus 3 by 3. 3 ones are 3 ones are. So here x is equal to minus 1 or if I transform this plus 1 from LHS to RHS it will become minus 1. So you can see here x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1. So both of these two are the the remaining two zeros. Hence we can write therefore hence the zeros of the polynomial are the first 0 is square root of 5 by 3 minus square root of 5 by 3 minus 1 and minus 1. Hello my dear students, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Anmant Ladwa. If you want to watch the next video, you can click on this icon and if you want to watch the previous video, then you can click on this icon. If you want to get the latest updated videos, then you can click on this button to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.